Hey guys, welcome to Shy Shy Spills. I just want to start off this video by saying thank you to everyone who was so engaging on my last video. I only dropped it a week ago and I'm almost at a thousand views. Like, I really can't believe it. Thank y'all for the wonderful conversations in the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, everything. Like, it really means a lot to me because I want to keep giving you guys the best content that I can give. And speaking of content... You will never believe who commented under my last video. Y'all guessing? Okay, time's up. <laughs> it was Cell's mother. Cell's mother commented some mean words and was saying that I was a liar, I had no proof, and that it's not confirmed. Um, it is true and it was confirmed. I get that she wants to stand up for her daughter and all because that's her baby girl, but you gotta hold your daughter accountable and let her take this L, please. So here's the comment that her mother left me under my last video. I don't have the full comment. I only have the preview of it because I just deleted it. I was not going to originally respond to it. And YouTube does this thing where if a comment is hurtful or has some like curse words in it, they're holding it for review and they're not going to post it on your channel. I also find it pretty funny how she felt the need to address me Meanwhile, there are women who haven't got their orders since August because your daughter is using their money to get her butt done, get her boobs done, get her lips done, fly out with some freaking rapper. And before y'all start accusing me of lying, many people have made the same observations that I have made. She goes MIA on Instagram for months at a time, and then when she pops back out, her butt is noticeably bigger, her boobs are noticeably bigger, which is very easy to spot because she's such a petite framed girl. And let me make this clear, there is nothing wrong with getting work done, but there's everything wrong when you use innocent people's money to get those procedures done. You need to start paying those people back and giving them some refunds. Let's get back to the comment that Cell's mother made. She said Cell and that girl were never friends, they were Instagram followers, but that was it. Actually, even though they were Instagram followers, they were still working up to a tangible in-person friendship. Cell and Mariah were supposed to meet up and probably get to know each other so they could, you know, stop being Instagram mutuals and start being friends. But remember, Cell was in the car with Mariah's ex-boyfriend Yachty and that friendship stopped before it even had the chance to start. Anyways, I still can't believe her mother. Just so nasty and so rude. Around me like that. So nasty and, that's and what happened. so rude. <laughs> so nasty and so rude. Oh my gosh, that clip makes me crack up every time. I love Nene. But the other day, I was on Tumblr and some of the Tumblr girls who I follow were talking about Cell and her colorist and racist past. I'm going to show you guys some of the screenshots that they put up on Tumblr. Feel free to pause this video and take a look. And I know y'all are thinking, those tweets are from 2012 and 2013. Yeah, but there was a recent tweet that was from 2016 or 2017, and I cannot find it for the life of me. If I had it, I would insert it. And in that recent tweet, somebody had asked her, so, why don't you use black girls as your models? And she was like, well, I'm Latina and I just want to highlight Latina models. Um, you know Latino models can be black, right? You know Latinas don't just look like J-Lo. Why do people think that the term Latina is just reserved for light skin, long hair, wet and wavy type hair girls? Like, no, Latinas can be black, they can have curly hair, kinky hair, brown skin, dark skin. They're not just these light skin poster girls you see in these music videos. Because she was called out on not having any black models in her shows, if you look at her photo shoots now, she includes one token black girl. Like, that's gonna prove that she's not racist or colorist. Also, at the start of the summer when there was a lot of racial tension with the George Floyd protests, Breonna Taylor protests, and the Black Lives Matter movement in general, Cell decided to post a picture saying that she stands with Black Lives Matter, and people were like, wait, 
you always used to say the n-word n-word this n-word that and she got a lot of backlash so she had to disable the comments by the way i just want to say hey girl to mariah my scorpio sis shout out to her because she watched my last video and y'all are probably wondering how do you know that she watched your video well, a couple days after my first vid drop, Mariah posted on her Insta story, Real Snake Stuff, I'm Hip. Those are the exact words I had used in my video when I was talking about so. Like, she clearly saw my video because she just wouldn't post that on her story randomly. And I know that Mariah is very close with her fans and fan pages, so one of them most likely sent it to her. And last but not least, Cell and Yachty are finally official. Yachty posted a pic of them together at some ski resort, and then Cell also posted some pics of them as well. And I'm no expert on body language, but when I look at these pictures, it just seems a little bit forced to me. I'm not sure what it is, but this just ain't sitting right with me. And once again, we made it to the end of my video. Please turn on your notifications, subscribe, like, and drop some tea in the comments. Let's get the discussion on and popping. I really want to know how y'all feel about this. All right, see y'all in the next vid.